Hello everyone, welcome to Business Summit, our monthly webinar. I can see people are still joining. We will be starting very shortly. Meanwhile, if you're here and would like to say something, please feel free. I can see our friend Sanjida is here today. Good to see you, Sanjida. Thank you. How are you? I, I am good, thank you. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. That's great. That's great. We are just waiting for more people to join and then we will be starting in the next two or three minutes. Meanwhile, if you're here, I can see uh, Mr. Khaled is here. I can see uh, a few people. Gladys, if you're here, uh, please feel free to say something on the chat. Say hello. Or uh, you can just say something, uh, you can just unmute yourself and, and speak, we don't mind. And uh, we'll be sh starting in the next two minutes. Uh, I have an exciting video to play for everyone. But let's wait for a few more guests to join. You can see our friend, Mr. Abraham is here. Hello to you, Mr. Abraham. Hi, good morning. Uh, good afternoon, yeah. How are you doing? I am good, and yourself? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Good. It's good to see you again. Yeah, of course. It is good to see you too. We'll be starting in the next one minute. We are just waiting for a few more people to join and then we can uh, start officially. All right. All right. No problem. We're waiting. I think while people are starting, it's already time. But let me first welcome our, our faithful guest, Mr. Pat Ruta. Good to see you again, sir. You're looking as young as always. Good to see you. Okay, so let me officially start. Good day, everyone. Welcome to Business Summit. This is our monthly webinar designed for you to help you to grow and help you to scale your business and your financial uh, uh, progress. So again, welcome. And before we start, and I give Dr. Hero to say a few words, I would like to play a video and then we can start. Every time I see this video, uh, it's, it's very exciting. And you might be thinking, it's very exciting because um, it, it's just wonderful. It reminds me of all the great events we had uh, in the last few years. I'm very excited. So please stay tuned. We are going to talk about this too in the next coming uh, 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 in the next half an hour. So Dr. Hero will be talking about this event also. So stay tuned. But before that, let me call Dr. Hader to greet everyone. Dr. Hader, are you here? Very good morning from Caribbean. Very good morning. Good morning, Dr. Hader. How are you all? All good, Dr. Hader. How are you? Great, great, great. It's a fantastic weather here. Um, welcome to the 
webinar as usual. It's, uh, I'm glad to see uh, all our friends uh, here. Some of our new friends, some of our old uh, means long time friends here and associates. I have a fictitious question to you before I start the program today. How many of you love money? How many of you love money? Like I love money. If you can raise your hand and show that you love money. And how many of you hate money? How many of you hate money? If you know money, money have, who hates money? Sure, of course. If it is a bad money, for sure we hate it. No, the money is money. It's not, we, we are not talking about bad money. We are talking about good money. Of course, money is money. So money is not bad. Money is always good, but the action is bad. Some people make money with bad actions. So that's a separate subject, but we all love money. We all need money. We all need to survive. We need money to progress. We need money to breathe. We need money to sleep. We need money. Definitely. Without money, nothing happens. So I can see the 100% of the people like love the, uh, to have money, of course. Same like me. I love money as well. I used to uh, not love money in my life for many years. I didn't, I didn't have any feeling, zero feeling, even till now, to an extent, um, almost zero feeling for the money. But now I realized with so much of uh, disaster, so much of, um, uh, you know, uh, losses, uh, so much of reality that I faced in my life uh, last many years. It's like roller coaster up and down, and now I feel that, oh, yeah, money is important for life. It's very important. So we we keep the money. We we work for money. We are we are here or we are chasing money. Some people chasing money. Some people working for money. Some people thinking for money. Some people taking some actions. So you know, it's all about taking some actions. How do you make money? So. As I said before the new year, our um, uh, during our, our, our beginning of the year uh, in January, uh, that um, 2023 is an extraordinary year for us because after three years of disasters with uh, COVID and so on, we are just now entering into a new year where um, we have a uh, relatively better situation except that this disastrous the horrible um, war that uh, I'd not say war, I would say aggression of uh, a country to another in Europe has, uh, uh, you know, uh, created a major uh, humanitarian disaster, major financial disaster for many countries now getting bankrupt, including Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Nigeria. I just saw a picture this morning from Nigeria that um, the people are queuing up in the gas station and they don't have gas enough to be, you know, fill, fill up the tanks. Whereas Nigeria is the second or third largest um, oil uh, producer in the world. You know, they have the highest reserve of uh, crude oil in the world. But look at the uh, scenario. They didn't never built a uh, refinery and they're not using. So it's a kind of a mismanagement, of course, and definitely um, in, in recent days, when you have a mismanaged situation, a co company or a country or a family or a personal life, then with a little bit of a, um, you know, hiccups or a little bit of a pressure, you will get broken for sure. So this is what is happening in those poor early managed country. Um, I'd say PMC, poorly managed country, company or PMF, purely managed family or poorly managed uh, life, PMF. So those are the situations. So where we people, those who are here, I'm sure we are all here to, to accelerate and do things right, what we want to do, legal, ethical, moral, and do. So this is how we function. And 
as Business Summit uh, has been connecting and developing this uh, with this principle for last many years. You know, the whole idea came uh, from where I told you that um, I have been traveling all around the world and developed so many friends. And some of my friends are asking for help for last many years that, can you help me connecting, I mean, getting a, an investor? Can you help me uh, with some money? Can you borrow me some money? I said, yeah, I can, but better to have an institutional investor or a private investor to get the funding. So that's how I introduced one or two unofficially. Then one day I thought, why, why don't we do it officially and we I bring some of my friends together only. So I, that's how the first summit we had in Kuala Lumpur in 2017, I invited about 150 of my friends, very close friends from all across the world. And 130 of them joined from 73 over countries. That, and, and, and I was shocked, I was surprised that they all came with my invitation as my guest. So this is where I, I locked them up in, in, in the ballroom of Intercontinental Hotel. Get, got them enough tea, coffee, lunch, is that everything that they wanted. And I said, okay, here are the projects, here are the friends who need money. And here are the friends who has the money who can fund this project. And instantly we got two projects funded that occasion, two projects funded, one in Liberia, one in Sierra Leone. We instantly closed two projects on the spot and our model was very different. And uh, some of our new friends, I can see Dr. Dorga is uh, just joined. He's a very influential person in uh, Guyana and in Caribbean. I congratulate and welcome you, uh, Dr. Vishnu Dorga here in our uh, summit. Um, it's, um, we, we, um, present the projects that are ready to go like food on the platter that you know you don't need to wait for something that a project that is in greenfield you are thinking your it's an idea level no that we did not do initially we did all the projects that are ready to go so you invest today you get returned right from tomorrow morning so it was a kind of an acquisition uh, project so that gave us a a lot of leverage to be popular among the friends and my friends they took it to different places to our other friends so next year um, 2018 we had i you know i had a lot of complaints from my friends that you did not invite me some people are saying oh what happened i missed the lunch or dinner i missed the drink that we you guys had in Kuala Lumpur and you didn't invite me, so you are, you, you are not a good friend. So I said, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that you would be so serious. I promise you next year we'll be having this summit in the same place, same day or you know, a few days later. The first one was in August, second one was in October next year. Hello. Yes, Dr. Peter, we can hear you. What happened? Something happened, I cannot see anything. Uh, we can clearly see you and hear you. Oh, I, I don't know what happened here. Okay, I'm back. So I'm sorry about this. I apologize. Um, so what happened next year in 2018? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm taking a little time already, 10 minutes ago. Um, the next year, what happened in 2018, uh, there was um, uh, you know, we invited about 250 of my friends and 200 over of my friends, they all came from all around the world, 80 over countries. And we gathered, we got together, we talked, we eat, we had breakfast, we eat together, we exchanged, we had fun and, you know, and business was like as easy as, I, I would not be able to tell you how easy it was to close deals and they were so, excited to have some this kind of uh, you know uh, summit or, or or event i would say or it was so private so personal so uh, interesting and so much um, meaningful so everyone was very happy to meet our friends and so on so from there you know we decided to go and then this covid came and it hit like anything so still we tried to do it on on 20 
um, 20, 2021, we were planning to do it in a massive scale in Bangkok. We paid for everything. We booked the venue and then 4th of May, we were supposed to have it in Bangkok in 2020, but we had to cancel it last moment after the COVID was declared, uh, the global pandemic. 2021, we did it in a very small scale in, in Canada with the permission from the government on 3rd of December, where we had about 60 people on site that allowed in the whole ballroom about 60. But we made it hybrid. So there were about 200 of my friends that or our friends that joined from all around the world. So that's how it is. And now we are planning to have our uh, in-person summit um, in uh, Guyana, which is an um, emerging economy in the world. The per capita oil is this is the highest per capita oil um, bearing country right now with the 62% GDP growth. So something uh, extraordinary, but the um, other side is uh, only 750,000 population, but the country is pretty big, twice like Bangladesh, where I was born in. Anyway, um, we'll have our summit on 19th May in, um, in Guyana, 19th May in Georgetown in Guyana. Well, welcome to all of our guests once again uh, from all around the world. I can see our friends from Pacific, from uh, Australasia, uh, Asia, Middle East, Africa, Europe, North America, South America. Welcome to everyone. With this, I would say we have a number of guests um, that, um, uh, that, that are here today. We have three guest speaker today. Um, we'd like to empower women, particularly, and this is the month of uh, February, and 14th of February is the International Valentine's Day. So with this, we thought that our female entrepreneurs, those who are enterprising, promising, I know uh, tons of them, and two of my good friends, one is um, uh, Oksana uh, Shachenko from uh, Ukraine, she was born in Ukraine and uh, but living in uh, land, doing business in uh, Europe. And um, the other one is um, Divine uh, from Canada. She lives in Montreal, Canada. And she's a very young entrepreneur and uh, very promising. And just a few minutes back, I described them to be the future billionaire of this millennium. So congratulations, welcome to the summit um, to both this young woman. And we have our veteran uh, funder, uh, financial advisor uh, and uh, investment banker, Mr. Gary Tansley from United Kingdom from London. Um, I'd like to welcome all three of you. And then we have also an extraordinary guest uh, Ms. Javon, who had recently been uh, recognized and given an award by President uh, Joe Biden in the U.S. Uh, congratulations, and uh, we'll be hearing from her at the end. So right now, I'd like to welcome uh, Oksana to speak out and, um, and say a few things um, that she does and uh, how we can, she can help our friends and crowds and our associates uh, developing their business. Welcome, Oksana. Uh, yes, thank you, Dr. Hedger. It's uh, very nice to hear you and I am uh, very glad to see you all. And it's very nice that everyone joined this conference, that we can speak and uh, share our opinion about different topics. So I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Oksana Shevchenko and I am from yeah. Ukraine. And uh, nowadays I'm living in Switzerland and doing business mainly in Europe. So uh, I'm one of the co-founders of company Allianz 110 and we provide the business events uh, in Switzerland mainly and help companies to sell the shares. So we're working in three different spheres like real estate, medical and blockchain technologies. And mainly we help companies to sell the shares for investors. So this is like our main field and uh, we also do a great cooperation with Mr. Heider and also his company. 
So I will be glad to like hear maybe some uh, questions from your side and uh, share more uh, opinion about it. Thank you. Well, thank you, Miss Oksana. Go ahead. Yes, Dr. Hader, please go ahead. No, no, you can go ahead, no problem. So, yeah, um, uh, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. I talk about something. Uh, Yes, sure. No, I just intervened because I could see your network is a bit uh, uh, poor. But thank you, Miss Oksana. Um, I think uh, it's very great to, to have you today as a young entrepreneur. I think um, we've been working for a while and uh, for a few projects, in fact. And uh, yes, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask. Dr. Peter, you may add. I was just intervening just to, to make sure it's not quiet in the room. Thank you. Thank you, Oksana. And uh, Oksana was very brief, but um, she's a very powerful woman and um, uh, resilient. Um, I admire her because during the, the first day of the um, invasion on 24th of February last year, when I was in Portugal, I was sleeping and in the morning we saw that the disaster. And I was supposed to fly that morning to Riga. And we, we our flight, I mean, I canceled the flight. so. Um, and that morning, even the earlier day, we were talking. They were in the eastern region of uh, Ukraine that time. So she um, was, you know, she she went to visit uh, Ukraine um, with family. So, see, you know, even after that, she has been continuing her business approach. We have a number of friends that has been um, is still continuing the business, uh, uh, sitting in different places. So, I. I, I believe that Oksana, as, a, as our partner in Europe, will is um, able to bring a lot of uh, values into the um, summit, and um, she's very well connected, well uh, located, and um, and her um, communication skills and um, and her um, capabilities sitting in jury in Switzerland, which is one of the most world's uh, biggest financial capital. Uh, and she's involved and uh, connected to so many financial houses, uh, investors and investment bankers. With this, I'm sure Oksana will be able to add a lot of value um, for the uh, friends and associates and the clients that need uh, services. So please feel free to communicate uh, with us, with our team, um, to get in touch with uh, Oksana and um, go from there with your project. Thank you very much. Any question, please uh, feel free. Otherwise, we'll uh, be inviting the next um, guest speaker today. If there is a yes, question, sir. we'll take it now. Let's see anyone. Dr. Peter, we actually have Ms. Javon here with us. She actually joined. Um, uh, Ms. Javon. Congratulations to you. I am not sure if you if you were here when Dr. Hader was talking, but please uh, welcome and very, very uh, big congratulations and warmest regards to you. I think uh, Ms. Javan has been with us for a while and to see her growing and going to this level, it's wow, absolutely fantastic. Ms. Javan, um, you may say a few words. It would be good to hear from you. Sure, good evening. welcome and congratulations. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon to everyone. God's blessings to you, Dr. Hatter. I'm telling you, I love the Business Summit. I think that you all are doing an extraordinary job. I'm excited about the upcoming conference that's going to be in the Accra region in Africa. And of course, I have some humanitarian efforts that's going to be going on in this year of 2023. And also happy new year to everyone as well. Yes, I'm telling you this award, I, it really came by surprise. You know, sometimes when you are doing something passionately for the community, genuinely to help people, you never know who's watching you. And so uh, I've been the nonprofit director and owner of CLI Productions Incorporated for nine years. And one of my efforts that I believe caught the attention of the White House was when hurricanes would come to Louisiana, my production company, even though we do plays and we do filming and television, we also did distributions in the community. And we gave out 40,000 pounds of food all over Southeast Louisiana. 
and we were helping all of the hurricane uh, victims that were experiencing not having money, not having food, not having lights. And so my team and I, we were out and we were boots on the ground. And of course, being the past NAACP president for one of the regions in Southeast Louisiana, it caught the attention of the White House. So I am very honored, Dr. Hatter, and also I'm very humbled to receive the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award by our 46th president, Joe Biden, and also the VP, Kamala Harris. And so I will continue to serve and to be a public servant and to help all those who I can help. And I was just, I was very enthused about getting the award. I was surprised. And so when I got up on the stage, I was very emotional because again, you just never know who's watching you when you're helping others. And so I believe that this award has ignited me to do some other efforts in the community, but not only in just Southeast Louisiana here in the USA, but throughout the world. So I'm excited. I want everybody else to get excited about Business Summit and also the conference that's coming. I'm looking forward to meeting some wonderful investors, Dr. Hatter, and also I'm looking forward to meeting you in person and Ivy as well. So God's blessings to everyone. And remember everything that you do for people, always remember, do it from your heart because I believe what leaves the heart reaches the heart. Thank you. Congratulations, wow. congratulations. And uh, we are really mm -hmm. proud of you, our friend. We are very proud of you. We are very proud of you. Keep up your good work and we will join hands together. We can, we can, we can promise you that. Thank you very much. Well, it is good to hear from you, Ms. Javon. Um, our next speaker is from UK, Mr. Gary Tansley. Um, Mr. Gary Tansley um, is a, an asset and project specialist. And if you have any questions about um, how to secure investments, I think he is the right person to ask today. So any type of questions you have about the projects that you're handling, please feel free to ask him. Mr. Tansley, the mic is for you. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed for that introduction. Um, not sure whether I can live up to that uh, but build up or whatever I'm not really uh, I don't know whether I call myself that good or not but anyway there we go but first of all I'd like to thank Dr Hader uh, and his team for giving me the opportunity to speak at today's meeting uh, really much appreciated uh, thank you very much so I'm Gary Tansley uh, I'm from BGSE and I'm based in the UK uh, on the south coast near a place called Chichester BGSE is all about project funding and financing. We provide, we provide bespoke and dynamic funding options and solutions on projects worldwide. We have too many services, too many projects to go through in detail on today's event. Um, if you hear me mention something that you're interested in, uh, something details, you will need more details, my contact details are in the chat box. Dr. Hayden and his team have got my details. Please get in contact, LinkedIn, WhatsApp, uh, email, whatever you need. I have then got a lot more information and details. I can then get you, uh, send you the information uh, and you can take it on there. We can help individuals, we can help large companies, we can help governments, we can help with infrastructure projects, housing, renewable energy, construction. We have connections for all of that. We have connections that help with from projects from 20, 10 million US dollars right up to 5 billion US dollars. And we have people in between that have different appetites, different skill sets, might be better for construction, might be better for uh, alternative assets, might be better for working with government. So we have a whole range of people that we work with. Not all of our products and services are open to all countries and all uh, places uh, because we work with very niche specialist uh, connections. This means we can look at other ways to fund projects for you. So if there's a country or a bank or something that we can't work with, we then work in another way. So what we do is we provide a free consultancy and advisory service we are paid a commission from the finance companies that we use, and that commission is only paid upon successful sourcing of funding. Most of our products and services, there is no upfront fees, no initial costs 
nothing like that at all. In regards to the traditional loans in the form of debt and equity, at the current moment in time, we're able to get rates from about four to 8%. There's grace periods, flexible terms and conditions. We have fast track available to funding. Uh, we're just recently completing a hotel project in Norway, the, the funding for a hotel project in Norway. That's our latest uh, project success story. We like mainly uh, shovel ready products, uh, projects, construction projects, need to have feasibility studies, marketing studies, professional business plans. They need to be prime shovel ready projects. So they need everything in place, land to be owned, all of that as well. At the moment, the connections that BGS is working with uh, aren't currently investing in Africa or India. But as I say, we can invest in those types of projects in other parts of the world for in relation to traditional funding. But in places like Africa and India, we've also got another side to our business, which is the alternative uh, investment. So what we did in there is we've got trade finance partners based in the US, long track record, vast experience. They work with top banks around the world. If you have your own funds, there's no easier and quicker way to raise funds for your projects. Substantial gains within weeks. Uh, we have the lowest entry programs at the moment, start from 1 million US dollars. And if you have 5 million US dollars within top tier bank, we have programs like a 10 day bullet trade program. Uh, and the fund is called no risk because your funds stay in your account. So we have trade programs where your funds don't need to leave your account so long as they're in a top tier bank. Uh, and the lowest one we've got at the moment is five million, but we've got other ones for that as well. So we have a many amazing trade finance programs. We can monetize SPLCs from top tier banks, AAA rated banks. Uh, the monetization can take place within about three working days. Funds then go into a trade finance program. Again, no initial fees, no extra costs and no commitment. To make the introduction to our trade desk manager that's based in the US, he's the expert. He provides all the answers to your questions. Uh, once we have a KYC, um, the, we see the SPLC for verification, we carry out an initial review. Successful clients are then invited for a Zoom meeting. At that Zoom meeting, if it's successful on both sides, after that, the next stage is a contract. And then you're, with the contract is also issued KYC and a full due diligence legal pack for you and your legal team to carry out your own independent review of all the connections involved and all the people involved. There's no commitment, no fees and no cost up until that stage. To make the introduction, there's nothing. If you see any red flags, if you hear anything you don't like, if you don't like the contract that you're given, you can walk away free of charge. There's no commitment up until that stage. There. These are ideal programs for things like large project funding, infrastructure, governments looking to raise funds. Uh, they're safe, secure, fully regulated on both sides, legally binding contracts, uh, full independent due diligence can be done by your legal teams. Uh, and this just gives you the confidence to work with our connections there. A lot of things are bank to bank transactions uh, where, and then we have these funds where you leave your funds in your own bank as well. Another side of our business, a third part as well, if you wanted to raise funds through assets, if you had assets like gold or art or jewellery, yachts, jets, things like that, we even have a connection that can provide loans against assets like that as well. So all the reason that we're here today is just to say we have a whole range of people that we turn to when we know what the project is that you're looking for, we've got an overview of it we then can provide you with some suggestions of how you can raise those funds and who we would turn to. BGSE works with you as a partner all through the stages uh, and we then uh, stay with you right through from the initial meetings right through until the, the project funding or the finance program that you go into. So there you are, that's all there is to it. We have a lot to offer. 
please contact Dr. Hayden and his team. They've got our contact details. We can send you more details about all the things that we just talked about there. My contact details are in the chat box as well. Uh, BGSE is here to help. We're standing by, just get in contact. Uh, and that's all I have to say. I'm happy to field some questions now, uh, but I'd like to thank Dr. Hayden and his team very much for the opportunity to speak today. Uh, and uh, thank you everyone for your time and your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gary. Um, before we ask for any questions, Dr. Hayden, would you like to say uh, a few words? before we ask a question. I think, uh, thank you. Um, I think uh, my friend has uh, spoken very well, point blank, and uh, given a lot of insights of the way to get the financing. Some of our friends are here today, and some of them are not here, but looking for financing, a lot of them. Um, so uh, we'll talk about a little bit on that um, later on, but let's take some questions. If there is a question to Mr. Uh, Mr. Tansley, please feel free to come and ask some questions. But one question I have to um, Mr. Tansley is, um, is um, the size of project you said between 5 million and 5 billion and above, right? Uh, 10, 10, uh, sorry, 10 million US dollars. Uh, up into billions, yeah. The minimum okay. for project funding is uh, 10 million. Uh, then there's different for SPLC monetization, the minimum face value is 25 million. And then for the trade finance programs with your own funds, they start from 1 million US dollars, keeping funds in your own bank account, $5 million. Okay, I understand. So the project funding is from 10 million um, and above. So yeah, correct. That's fine. That, that, that's fine. Uh, because I these days we are getting heavy requests from smaller projects. That's a that's a big issue that we we are having right now. So um, on that, um, I needed to. Know. And how long does it um, normally take? I know about it, but just to. Uh, clarify to all the um, audience here um, that what, how long it takes uh, to do the uh, when you take up a project and to conclude a project if everything goes well including your due diligence and all yeah when clients ask us about that sort of time frame a lot of it is down to the quality of the data room and the quality of the documents that the client has already got in place if everything is there when we when our funders start asking for documentation and, and have opened up the data room that is always the point where you discover how long these things will actually take as a general rule we say between three to four months from when you have your initial meetings you sign your initial ndas uh, and then you go through into the uh, the, the, the uh, due diligence stage and then through into the funding funding stage. So we say three to four months to manage people's expectations. But if somebody comes with a fantastic project, they've got all the feasibility studies, marketing studies, professional business plan, all the permits are in place, the guarantees, they own the land, costs are all done, cash flows are all done. Um, the guy that we use is based in Europe for our traditional loans and project funding. He's a professional financial analyst to go with the project funding side of the business as well. And he drills down to every single detail. So like how much will each door handle cost and how many workers and pay. So these are the sort of details. Now, when we, from experience, we receive a lot of projects that think they're ready, uh, but they're not. They haven't got everything in place. They haven't got all the things that's needed, the documentation or professional help to get ready. You need a lot of help to get these projects ready. Now, Dr. Hader and his team, your team there, they provide this, they're like the linking between the finance and the client to get you ready to do it. But so say you came to us and you work with Dr. Hader and everything was all in place, allow between three to four months. And just as a side uh, point to make the connection that we use for project funding and traditional loans, does offer a service of a fast track. There is a slightly higher percentage in success fees, but in that is an intensive pro program and you need to be ready with all the documents. So you might get asked for a document in the morning, something else in the afternoon, and then something else in the evening. So the intensive pro uh, program is fast tracked 
then you can try to get it done in weeks rather than months. But as a general rule, project funding three to four months. Thank you. Um, we understand. Yeah, that, that's one of the things that I have been telling and we will be advocating on this, that the biggest challenge, biggest challenge uh, is not the funding. Biggest challenge is the documentations. This is where we are really having problems. Like many of my friends and associates and my clients, what happens, they have good business. They're up and running, good cash flow, good revenue, good um, profitability fantastic organization a lot of revenue but that that doesn't exist in documents you know financial data is absent business plan is not uh, made and what is business plan that is also unknown to many of these business uh, men or entrepreneur they are not uh, aware of what is a bankable business plan is this is where the biggest trouble we are having uh, for last couple of years you know so many projects they are really good but cannot get funding because of the documentations um, lacking i would say so, absolutely yeah so important so important yeah so that is why we are now um having a couple of business plan uh, producer and a pre-funding stays consultant and advisors that really take up a project and prepare the business plan as needed and also see the documentations, the, all the analysis been done well in advance so that once it is submitted, it doesn't bounce back. You don't have literally many things to look at so that you can proceed even within your uh, time limit of three to four months or even earlier. So this exactly. is what we are trying to, uh, that's one of our plan and program right now. We are helping hand in hand to so many of our friends. So it's a lot of headaches. My business is not to make business plan. My business is to see that the project is getting funded. But when I talk to someone and they really come up with a lot of um, expectation and aspiration, so I can't just turn them down all oh, then, oh, you don't have a business plan and you don't have a documents. I can't just help you. Um, I'll just give you an example. Even last night, we, me and Mr. Roger Kevin, our vice president, we went to a party. We went to an, um, uh, a launching ceremony where the president of Guyana was uh, the chief guest, supposed to be, but he last moment uh, could not attend. So the speaker of the parliament was the representing the president uh, there. So, um, but the issue is, um, um, we met somebody. Um, last few days and um, he was there as well and he has tangible project i tell you tangible project fantastic project i would say i would go for that his project funding even as of yesterday but he doesn't have any documents and he has engaged somebody and that somebody is preparing a business plan who is sitting in the us a friend of mine as well and he's complaining that he is giving me piecemeal information and he's taking months to get all his data to be compiled and prepare a business plan. See where it is hanging on the in the balance. So this guy needs money, but at the same time, he's he doesn't have the data and information compiled he, because he didn't do it uh, right from the beginning. So now he's having a lot of issues, but his business is here for a long time. But at the same time, you know, some of the bigger companies like yesterday, we were having another Zoom call with one of the company that want to um, have a, I mean, we want to acquire a company where one of our investors want to acquire a company. And we were talking to the seller and the information, they even without signing an NDA, they, I asked them a few questions and Mr. Roger Kavanaugh was there. Um, you know, I was thinking that they will not be disclosing those information because it's not a publicly listed company. So they were giving all the information and a few things that I asked for, which is needed. How much is your revenue? What is your EBITDA? And um, how many staff you have? What years of contract you have and all those. So the information they gave me is extremely exciting. And they said, well, well, we have the data center. We have the full information ready to go when we need to sign the NDA. So I said, okay, send the sign NDA and we will sign it and get access to your documents and pass it on to the investor. So these are, these are something exciting things and you know, it's a mismatch. And, but most of the projects in, in, in developing countries are having this kind of an issue. And 
The, the trouble is, is that the, the funders want things like feasibility studies and marketing studies done by, you know, the top international type of companies. Because if I want to give you 50 million, I need to know that I'm going to be comfortable that you're going to be able to give it back to me. So the, the client says, I've got a fantastic project, but I've got no data, I've got no documentation, and I haven't done a feasibility or a marketing study. And the funder at the other end says, well, I'll give you 50 million so long as I can have all these documentations and the comfort. So that's where you have to meet in the middle somewhere and you have to find a way of matching them together and to get them there. So that is the problem with the funding is I don't want to spend the money on an expensive feasibility study, but if you don't, you won't get the funding at the other end. So then you won't grow your business or, or, or construct or whatever it is that you're looking to do. So that is the problem, yes. Yeah, absolutely, you're correct. And you know what our funders uh, are looking for is the documentation certified by all the international um, auditors like Grant Thornton or um, KPMG or whoever. So, but the, the, it needs to be um, uh, vetted and uh, certified. And some of our friends, those who need funding, when they hear all these things and these guys are charging a fees for certifying the documents, then they start struggling. So these things, we are in a process of teaching these people, I mean, our clients, you know, to, to, to give them some coaching, then this is how it is. And our friend, uh, Dr. Dogger is also, uh, Vishnu Dogger, he is also doing a great job. He's doing the same thing, probably he's uh, educating his clients uh, a bit. So uh, we will continue to do this from our end and uh, we will try to help also our friends and uh, clients also to prepare a bankable business plan, getting the document vetted and certified um, and so on. So I think it's also uh, important to realize why we talk about all of this side of it. There is another way to raise funds for projects. So you don't have to concentrate on traditional loans, feasibility studies, business plans. If you've got your own funds in a bank account, get them into some sort of specialist trade and then you can make your money for your project that way. And in, in the end, you're also in control of your own finances. You're in control of your own projects. If you've got a pipeline of projects, why not finance it through a trade program or SPLC monetization and then finance your own. You don't have to keep going to the private money market, complicated, expensive loans for each of your projects. So there's always a way around or a solution. You just have to know how you get to it, but there's different ways than traditional. So a guy that's got a great project and a great business doesn't want to go down the road of paperwork, feasibility studies, all the rest. Look to trade finance, look to moving your money into that way to get your money you need for your project. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, um, anyone else has any question to Mr. Tansle? Please feel free to ask him on chat or you can ask him here or you can later on communicate to our team. Um, and um, or, or to Mr. Tansley directly and um, and ask him uh, what uh, you have and what you need and um, because our intention is to help you uh, to connect with uh, the right people with to the right uh, person, right experts, right uh, funder, and uh, so on. So that's um, what we do. Uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, Mr. Tansley. Um, for uh, joining and um, uh, and and uh, speaking and um, the insight of uh, the uh, process that you have given. Um, now I'm sure we will continue and see if somebody else coming up with a question. Then we will pass it on to you to answer either online here or offline um, uh, with your uh, with your all the communications uh, media. Thank you once again for uh, joining and uh, we'll go to the next um, stage, Mr. Avid. Yes, Dr. Hidur, we do have one question actually. Uh, Mr. Ahmed uh, asked on, in the chat, uh, he would like to know what is the name of your company, Mr. Gary? BGSE, BGSE stands for Business Growth Solutions Experts. Yes, uh, yeah, thank has, you so much. Mr. Tansley has typed it out in the chat, so I think many people cannot see probably. He has written his um, uh, in, in the chat, uh, Gary Tansley, BGSC, and his number as well. Yes, I will read forward it now in the chat so everyone can have a look at it. Okay, so um, any other question? 
I think as of now, that's it. But if anyone has any question, please feel free to uh, send us an email, a text, or we can voice out in this meeting if, at any time. Um, our next speaker is um, someone exceptional who I met a few months back and uh, what an amazing entrepreneur. Uh, she's from Canada and uh, she has worked with many giants. Uh, I've seen it and I've seen uh, what she does. Let me welcome Ms. Divine. Ms. Divine, up to you. Hi, Abhishek. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you so much, Dr. Haida, for inviting me here. Uh, my name is Divine and I am an entrepreneur. I am the founder of Divine Assistance. And what we do at Divine Assistance is we provide uh, business management services uh, for entrepreneurs. Whether you are looking to start up your company and you need help with branding from the onset, uh, business planning, uh, consulting, development plans, uh, all the way to your website or your software development, uh, down to your marketing, down to uh, accounting, down to uh, the operations, the day-to-day -day operations of your business. Uh, our team provides all of that to make um, the life of entrepreneurs easy. So what we do is we do business management from concept to you know day-to-day -day operations at Divine Assistance. Uh, you can get a personal assistant with us or you can work with your own personalized team. Uh, you select the team that you need a specialty of what you need uh you know we're also working with some people on a fintech pro um, project which is something that we're working on right now uh we've also worked with you know developing a crm for a logistic company um so you know pretty much everything from your conception to actualization uh you know divine assistance can help you out with that as well and then in addition to that divine assistance also has uh two subsidiary companies uh one of which is our software company uh that is still under development we do have I, I partnered with a chief technology officer which is also our chief, chief, chief technology officer for Neelay uh, he has over 25 years of experience uh, in the IT field uh, he's also a real estate investor with over 30 plus properties in Canada presently and we are working to develop a software that also helps you to manage your business along with your virtual team so that um, software is going to handle everything from your invoicing uh, automations, workflows, website development, website management, uh, social media management, it automates everything for you. And that is set to launch somewhere in May um, of this year. And then in addition to that, I also partnered with um, Shea Abrahams, which is here right now, uh, on our nonprofit organization, which is called our Academy, our Dala Academy. Uh, we recently started this project about two months ago. And that project is about providing free education, free digital education for youth in Africa. This is going to be targeted around, you know, business management courses, project management courses, coding, uh, you know, software, website development, marketing courses. And not only are we empowering them with free education, we are also looking to provide jobs for them in Divine Assistance because Divine Assistance is a company that, you know, constantly hires people and constantly because as we are growing, we also, the human resource also grows with the company as well. Um, so that academy is going to also help fund the human resource uh, for divine assistance as well. So that is something that we're working on. Uh, again, like I said, it's a free, um, you know, video based learning plat platform for all Africans, uh, which is what we are trying to do at divine assistance. So if you are interested in learning more about the projects, we have a lot of projects that are going on, although they are personal, it's not a, uh, you know, we're open to private and public investors. Um, if you want to speak to me or any of my partners, please feel free to contact me and you know we can also help you with your business if you're not looking for investments you're looking for you know help with your business and marketing plans we can help you out with that sector as well thank you so much everyone wow thank you so much mr vine um that's a lot of useful information and that you have given us and again congratulations on on keeping to grow that's really exciting dr hero before we um ask anyone if they have anything to add would you like to say something no uh thank you um yeah thanks um divine uh i know divine for last two years i think close to two years um since 2021 and uh, the, the first day I met her, and uh, she was working with uh, an, another organization. Now she is an entrepreneur. And but the day I met her, I could feel that this girl will not stop here. She will be somewhere. So today I had <laughs> declared her to be a future billionaire, and I'm sure she will not turn me down. 
So uh, as a kind of a um, uh, guide and mentor or whatever as a friend. So I think um, um, I have uh, uttered the right word. And um, I told about somebody who is here also. I saw him. I don't know whether he's here or not. Bafi Farid from Bangladesh. I think he's here. This guy, I met him three years, four years back. Three years, I think. Three years back. That time he was working like um, uh, hard like morning till night and said that you know his business results he was sharing me that it's not uh, doing um, that uh, great or that good so i gave him a bit of an idea and post him for a while at no cost but and i i told him that if subject to the implementation of these policies and plans and the speed and spread that you bear if you can do, keep on rolling this and you know increase this uh, level, then you will be a future billionaire in Bangladesh as well, in Bangladeshi currency. And uh, later one, I think in six months uh, time, uh, he said that he earned, he gave me a figure that um, the amount of money he was making, he was earning, he has increased it to be six to eight times uh, during the COVID time, and um, and he has um, increased his uh, volume of business and uh, going into um, a massive level. So which um, uh, gives me a lot of pleasure. He didn't pay me even one dollar from his money, but um, I'm still glad to see that um, he's doing great. He, are you here, Buffy? I just saw him. He, I, I don't see him now but he was here Buffy Farid. i don't see him anyway so i think um, divine has a great solution that we are using in our in our company and we are really really uh, glad to get um, these solutions she has introduced to us uh, to too many um, things you know i could not even keep a track of these things so some of them um, Avi is using some of them, Lima is using, and so on. So, we are yet to cope up with all these um, solutions that makes life easier for sure. Like, our um, uh, our um, pipeline management has become much more easier. Even part of the CRM that uh, um, was introduced by uh, Divine is from Joho, and uh, you are using it right, and um, you're getting a great results. Like, we are managing our business in a much better way than we uh, earlier for sure the 2023 we have a much better management system and um, uh, it's doing fantastic so i i can see these solutions the i would say 22nd century solutions from it's uh, that divine is looking at so that will be um you know making a lot of uh, changes in the uh, business area. The businesses that you run or we run, it can be much better managed by her team and herself under her leadership. I wish you all the best, uh, Divine, and um, look forward to see you that you are doing uh, much better. And um, anyone has any questions to Divine, please feel free and um, can subscribe her services. And um, uh, she will come back to us with some more um, uh, updates and solutions that is needed to accelerate business and um, uh, investment. Uh, some of the investors can also um, take our services. In the other side, some of the investees, those who are looking for investment, they can also utilize our services as well. Look forward. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Divine, once again. And um, we'll go back to question and answer uh, once again. And um, I was asking if uh, Dr. Dorga uh, would like to speak, uh, then uh, we can introduce Dr. Dorga um, to let him uh, introduce himself and uh, his services. That um, what about the region? Okay, he's offering in the um, Caribbean, and I'm very impressed. I'm not uh, boasting because you cannot give me a promotion and you cannot give me a, 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 a million dollar in my pocket right now. But I'm very impressed with you, my friend. So if you can speak a bit what you do, um, we'll appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hyder. Ho hopefully you can hear me clearly. I'm 
um, doing site visits today. Saturday is my site visit day to different locations. But um, our main company, Action Invest Caribbean, um, uh, focuses on working with medium-sized companies, uh, companies that are already doing about half a million to a million uh, revenue per year and getting them up past the four or five uh, million US dollars and above revenue. So that um, is what we are mainly focused on. We provide coaching, consulting and training services. Um, ISO certification is now also a really big deal in our country. So our company also focuses heavily on delivering um, ISO uh, certification services because um, in the oil and gas industry, many of the big players want to know that the companies that they're dealing with are operating up to standard. So, you know, I'd like to congratulate you for pulling together this event as you've been doing for many years. I think it's very important that we put investors and companies uh, together so that um, we can have much faster growth. So thank you and uh, you know, uh, feel free if anyone wants to reach out, I'll drop my contact in the, in the chat as well. Thank you for the opportunity. So and if anyone has any questions, yeah. yeah, anybody has any Guyanese-oriented questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you are not only Guyanese, you are international. You are um, playing a good role in Caribbean and um, yeah. I'm sure you are um, uh, doing great. And uh, definitely there will be questions. People will be um, contacting you also. And uh, these days, getting information is not very tough. If you type out his name, you will get his contact immediately. You can add him up in the LinkedIn, Facebook, or any other social media. This, I mean, life is easy these days, so it's easier. Thank you, Dr. Dogra, once again. And um, we'll go to the um, Q&A. If there is a question, please feel free to ask a question uh, to any of our speaker. So I'll keep quiet for a minute and see if there is some question. our friends do not have any questions as of now um, that's good how good our speakers have been which means they have given every detail that um, uh, they need and I think it's the first time also uh, we've been in so much detail so Mr. Gary well well done for, for giving us all the details and thank you Dr. Hader also for asking the right questions um, we are almost at the end of our webinar but we would like to invite Mr. Roger who is also part of our team and uh, it's such a privilege to know Mr. Roger, man of excellence, man of principle. Uh, Mr. Roger, would you like to please say a few words and probably also mention a little bit about our Guyana Summit, the progress, the excitement that's in Guyana right now. In two or three minutes, could you please say a few words? Thank you, Mr. Roger. Yes, uh, thank you for the introduction. I'm, I'm the Vice President of Business Development with Intercon, working alongside with Dr. Hyder. And we, we work extensively looking at providing services in different areas, uh, especially the service industry of uh, accommodations, uh, tourism, training, uh, luxury uh, transportation, um, HR development as well as uh, travel industry. We have our own jet in located in private jet located in the Caribbean. So anyone in this region that needs a private jet, transport them anywhere, we're ready, willing to be able to provide that service. We we uh, we identify as Dr. Hader mentioned. We we attended an event last night, and there's numerous projects. In, really all industry sectors, whether it's tourism, whether it's oil and gas, whether it's transportation, uh, where we're constantly identifying business opportunities. It's a matter like Dr. Peterson once said again, and Gary said, uh, you know, we need the documentation. And most of the companies do not have documentation. So we, we're very busy. We're, we're, we're addressing a lot of opportunities here. And we, one of the things we are going to do is hold the business summit in Guyana on May the 19th and allow ourselves to introduce projects, viable projects to 
global investors who attend the business summit in Guyana. Uh, previously, it's been other countries in Asia and Africa. And we, we're very excited about this project. And we're, we've booked the Marriott Hotel already, so we're ready to roll. Uh, we're inviting anyone who does want to attend the summit to come and attend. And also, if they have a real viable project with documentation ready, they can present it to very interested uh, investors. So we're looking forward to continuing our journey in Guyana, and we're hoping all goes very well. Thank you, Mr. Roger. Mr. Roger uh, is involved in a lot of things with Dr. Hader. Uh, definitely a great man, like I said. Um, before we uh, go back to Dr. Hader, uh, Lima, if you could share our banner for the upcoming summit in Guyana so everyone can make note of the dates. These are some very exciting uh, uh, dates that you will see. So we are looking forward to see all of you that are here for this event. We are putting a lot of effort to make sure that this will be an, a life-changing event for you. So please make a note of this date. You can come there one or two days before. We will be having breakfast and dinners with different investors, different VVVIPs. So please mark the date 19th of May. This will be our summit in Guyana. Um, we have come nearly to our end, and I will hand over to Dr. Hader to just uh, do a small bit of thanks and end this uh, webinar. Thank you, Lima. Thank you, Dr. Hader. Thank you, Mr. Abi. Um, appreciate it. And uh, it has been a very good uh, summit today, and a uh, lot of information been given um, to the um, audience, uh, our partners and friends. And. Uh, from now onwards, what we will do from next uh, web one onwards, we will be giving an update of uh, projects available for um, you know investing or opportunities available. So, if you are joining here in the web banner, then you will have a bonus item which will be like will be listing out the top opportunities that are available globally. We are keeping track of all these uh, uh, opportunities and projects coming up from here and there, from all around the world. And um, it's a tremendous amount of uh, projects and uh, opportunities now. It's not only investment, it's business opportunities. Say, for example, there is an emerging market. Like in some area, the market is struggling to sustain. Like in some areas, some some countries, like the producers are really suffering with their products. They need to sell. But we have the um, intelligent information that can support that producer to get into that those market. Somebody is really looking for something, but not getting the right things connected to him. So it's because uh, the Google has created a great opportunity, but at the same time, the way I say, it has created the biggest disaster as well. Now, everyone will say, because if you Google that you want to buy an airplane, you will find at least 300 suppliers minimum, if not more. So 300 people supplying, airplanes you think so that 300 people can supply airplanes oh yeah and probably 250 of them hearsay they heard that airplane can be sold airplane you know sub, you know the airplane can be bought and sold so they have been advertising in the somewhere in website or somewhere in the google or wherever and the moment you google search you get all of them now you are wasting your time. You are a real-time good buyer of the airplane or a lazy, you know, laser uh, lessee of an airplane. Now you want to lease an airplane or a helicopter. Now you want to get the real-time supplier who can give you the, uh, you know, the uh, airplane that you need. But now you are talking to somebody who has probably some knowledge, some ideas, operating from home, from the uh, him his mobile or her mobile. And then you're wasting your time days and days and days. And at the end of a few days or a few weeks, you find out that 
this information that this fellow is giving is not tangible and the sub, it is not a supplier. Once you ask for his full documentations of the company, then you get into trouble. I mean, you, you, you realize that it's not the person. So you already invested a lot of time by the, by the, by the time. So it has the Google has in one side created a lot of opportunity that we can get a lot of information, but at the same time, it has created the biggest uh, problem as well, uh, or I call it a disaster. That um, you know, it gives you all sort of information and what is what you need to figure out, and that there it you, it causes a lot of time. And only one asset that we all have is 24 hours in our hand. We don't have 24 and a half. So how we utilize our time, the way I say, and how we, you know, achieve our goal, that's very important that we, from this 24 hours, we have literally six to eight hours of high quality work. We can do max a day, six, four to six hours, I would say, high quality, then low quality. So average probably six hours a day you can't do more than that so we need to utilize this time more efficiently so it's very important that um, you connect the right person and this is what our specialty and this is what we do and i'm sure our friends here will agree on that that we have been connecting uh, people or friends across the world that we know of all the due diligence been done with them for a long time some of my friends are here because we are my friends for the last 30, 40 years and 20 years. I know some of them very long time. And that's how I will be recommending those only that I can rely on that we have done the due diligence some sort. And we are confident that they can deliver. So this is what it is. Like now in, um, in Asia, a lot of producers are producing things. I'm sure Dilip is here from Thailand. He's supplying a lot of food food item. Malaysian uh, furniture producers, um, they're producing a lot of furniture. And uh, our Bangladeshis, they're producing a lot of food item, electronics and all those kind of things. And they are sufficient to supply domestically and exporting to an extent. But now they never thought of Southern America. In the other way around, like a guy that joined um, in our webinar last year, um, I, I don't see him here, but he imports fish from all around the world. The day he told me that he's importing fish from Uruguay, I was really shocked that he is sitting in Bangladesh, he's importing fish from Uruguay, oh God. So, you know, these are the opportunities where like I see, I went to a market in Guyana to buy fish last week with my driver early in the morning at four o'clock and i went to the wharf and oh my god the fish is not very expensive it's cheap and big size and all type of fish fresh coming from the sea and but you need to go early in the morning and buy it. so i bought i was so excited i bought 40 kilos of fish i didn't remember that it is me only um and sometimes we have guests and you know so um that's how it is in some places there are plenty of supplies in some places there are plenty of demand so there is a gap so what we are trying to do is to create an ecosystem that help you you know benefiting the maximum from your business whatever you're doing likewise divine is doing her business she's okay she's doing great but she needs to let the world know she needs to make a sound in the whole world where we have 150 over countries, our own connections, own friends sitting in different countries that should know that there is this service available. And for us, it is easy. With one message, we can reach the whole world. For somebody, it will be difficult. Even you use Google whole day, you won't be able to connect with the right people, the right person in the right country, right market. So these intelligence we are balancing up. We are uh, we are also internally changing a lot of strategy and building our own resources on a daily basis. So we are here to help you. My team is here, and definitely we will 
um, be next to you. So some of our friends are really sending me frustrating messages that, oh, I know some of our friends, they're very big, they were big businessmen, but now they're having difficulties. This is where we also help that before you put, get into difficulties, you should start figuring out what are the things going wrong and you need to take actions, massive actions. And that's how we do, I, the way I learned from my mentor saying that we risk people do hard things and that's why life is easy. Poor people do the easy things, that's why life is tough. So that's, that's an issue. We need to really do hard things first to make life easier. Otherwise we have problems. I hope that I uttered the right words, right lines. With this, I would say thank you for joining and um, I look forward to see you again. And I want to have some exciting achievements from some of you that are here today. During the webinar, next webinar one, um, on 4th of uh, March, I think we should hear from our friends that I made this much of money, I made this much of business, I have done this, I have connected with this, and I have taken these actions. These massive actions I took and I achieved this. So let's see, let's hear from you some of the achievements, some of the success stories. So please feel free to communicate our team and uh, let us know who wants to talk about their success story because you need to you know um, boost yourself up you need to thank yourself and say yeah you need to enjoy your wins yourself first you because the world will not know what you are winning so you need to boost and cheer cheer up yourself and also inform the world so the world knows like miss jovan she she has achieved a great award and now that we know about this and we will be thinking how we can really get our services into our area if there is a disaster somewhere. We are facing almost every day some disaster somewhere in the world and how she can be, um, you know, uh, helpful into those kind of uh, uh, area. So it's all about um, our actions that we take. So I'm sure that uh, on the 4th of March, you will come up with some uh, good news. You will come up with some wins that you will share. Some of our friends will share here. I look forward to see you on the 4th. With this, I will say thank you and take care and bye. And uh, I'll hand it over to Mr. Avi to uh, close this uh, formally. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you on the 4th of March. Bye-bye and have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.